Real. 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 She likes style specialist Kenny Burns. Kid Ferrari Simmons. I am your favorite Ethiopian Sue Solo. Ah! Okay, that was on point. Yeah. I week. forgot to do that audition nation this morning. I was going to shout you out. Why did you forget? I was going to do it and shout you out. I, Kenny. No, man, it's just so many personalities. Do it again forgot. next time and I don't promise. forget, man. You can't How forget you guys me. doing? My oh, man, we good, man. Hmm. Good weekend. Hmm. Good weekend. Rari, I'm going to start with you. You yes. were out here in these streets giving out Nike boxes. Oh, yeah. With socks <laughs> and gift thingies and it looked amazing. Real I, took, I took my groomsmen out to eat and... um. Asked him to be my groomsman for the wedding. Because he's getting married, that y'all. Is so he's getting married. Nice. Black yes. love is real. Yes. God is good. And I told wifey to bring her bridesmaids and I pay for everybody food. Yeah. Nice. Tell us about girl. it. Everybody was in dress code. Y'all looked real everybody good. Everybody was in dress code. It was all sexy. black. Of course, wifey wore the red dress, put it on the screen. She yeah, was good. Good. Take it off now. Okay. Right. Off that was too, too much. Too, too much time. Uh, it was great. Super cool. Super private. Um, we were we were actually going to do a party party and invite everybody, but uh, schedules and um, venues and all that just didn't line up correctly. So yeah, I think good. it was very grown of you to send a text out to your ball alert crew and say, look, guys, I know you're about to see this on social media. Yeah, but facts. I want you all to think that I didn't yeah, I purposely, purposely. So if I saw that and I ain't get no text I was gonna be salty like skinny <laughs> yeah, you know. no but I had to tell y'all you know keep it 100 yeah it's, I just made sure I took care of the responsibilities as a groom yes. yeah made yes. sure I invite my guys out and um, took care of their mail even though they tried to pay several times but it was dope your smile, yeah, though. Just, your smile yeah, in those definitely. pictures. You had some very. Can you please put it on the screen mm-hmm. side by side? Yeah. He had two big ass. So I don't think I ever seen all his teeth. <laughs> man, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm in love with married? my fiance, man. She treats me good. I can see it, Rory. She, she treats me good. She makes sure I eat. Uh, she makes sure I eat the right way. She. Uh, she makes you laugh. <laughs> she makes you laugh. And yes. I like her butt. It's nice and soft. I'm t- hey. You know she, she you know she don't Y'all like sure you talking about her butt. Kids? Uh, no, it's uh, not possible. Uh-huh. <laughs> Snippity snippings. <laughs> you can unsnip, right? I don't yeah, want can. to. Yeah, you, you can, can unsnip. All right, I'll say snippage. How was your weekend, Susan? Weekend was great. Um, I chilled. I didn't wait, 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 wait. This weekend, Sunday brunch was amazing. What? Yeah. I'm not going to say it. Uh, I, yeah, I had guests in town this weekend. Okay. So Thank I you, chilled. Mari. I was going to do it, but it's so it. What? I had guests in town this weekend. I chilled, you know, just Snuggle. just went to eat. <laughs> Cuddle. A little, a couple of those things Snuggle. going on Snuggle. there. Yeah, you know, good food, good company. <laughs> uh, eyes, and my sister's eyes, calling. Hey, sissy, I will call you after the show. <laughs> um, and Sunday brunch, that's all I'm going to talk about. Sunday brunch was amazing. Like, I cannot tell you guys enough that Traffic Kitchen and Cocktails is by far the best brunch venue. <laughs> Are we going by traffic ch- kitchen the cocktails for brunch that's service? What, yeah. Yes, okay. traffic. Yeah, okay. whenever we want to push food and talk about how wonderful the food is, what up, that's what we call it, right? Shout out to you guys. Gabe, I we love, love you, y'all. Holmes. It has been honestly my fastest growing brunch. The food is amazing. Service is lit. Bottle service is unmatched in Atlanta. Nobody is touching my brunch oh, in Atlanta. Uh, okay, ooh, talk so y'all shit. make sure y'all wow. pull up on Sundays from one to seven. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Give it up for Susan. Talk so dirty, long. Susan. The traffic kitchen and cocktails yes. on a Sunday. Yes, 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 I'm happy for y'all, man. It looks like y'all are really thriving out here in these streets. For sure. I'll you tell know? you, how was your weekend, baby? Oh, me. Oh, me. Grand, how about yours? <laughs> <laughs> so, no details. Well, you know, right. I was told off for a second, you know. No, she this, gonna be. this is sniper right here. <laughs> oh, so secret is. I should have stuck to my. I chilled this weekend, yup. <laughs> no, you had your first time. I had guests this weekend. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? How was yours? Mine? Yes. Yeah. Oh, um, Tell us all about it, Kenny Burns. Yeah, my weekend was great, y'all. I, I um, what did I do this weekend? I, I was a, it's basketball season in my house, so my baby, oh. my babies have tournaments. Kenny had twenty seven and ten last night. Wow! Dope. Yeah, wow! I didn't actually get in the game for varsity, so he's not happy about that. But um, oh. you know, these are the things that we go through. I'm glad they don't yeah, have to yeah, figure yeah. out anything in the street and they can get the disappointment from sports. Amen. Okay? All Amen. right. Um, but yeah, I just um. I did Dish Nation for the second time this week. Nope. How was it? In a week span. Yeah, it was How good. you been liking it? I, you know, I like I like it. You know, I find I find that I have great comedic timing when I'm amongst other <laughs> comedians. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, that it's, was it's comedic. Fun. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and you know what the funniest shit is about Dish Nation? is the fake laughs. Because, you know, like every break, oh, you got to laugh. You, you, hear <laughs> you hear it in the background? No. No, they, you, you have, have to do it. Like, we have to do it. Like, oh. okay, laugh, please. We're like, yeah. okay, now. <laughs> oh. We just came off a serious. That's TV, though. Damn. That's TV. Mm-hmm. But I like I like TV. I think there's more of that coming in the near future. And now it's time for in case you missed it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like how they handled Drake. Uh, Drake is one of the 
the goats of their generation mm-hmm. and mine too. I'm just going to throw him and lump him into the greatest rappers of all time. Yes, oh, wow. I said it. OVO. Okay. But I, I, I don't like Instagram and social media. You want to know why I don't like why? Instagram and social media? Because if you look at 923 to beat LA, they did a montage of Drake's performances and it was lit. Mm-hmm. It was lit. They was turning up. And then the only ones you see are the Flognog Gogs Nation. Whatever. What, what was it called? Camp <laughs> Flognog. Flog what the right? hell is that? It, exactly. LA. It, LA. It is. Oh, no, I didn't know no, that. It's, Camp it's Flog a music Nog, festival, no? no? It's, it's, um, what's the guy's name? Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator's mm-hmm. movement. That's his whole thing, right? But the whole point is you had a little small group of people probably in the same vicinity that wanted to see Frank Ocean. Okay. And so when Drake was the surprise headliner at Camp Flognaw, they like, Frank, Frank. And they was like, and Drake was like, if you don't want me to go on, I'm going to go, okay, cool, I love you. My name is Drake, Drake, I'm out. I salute him for that because it could have been, fuck you. Yeah. No, nah, he's a pro, it. man. Yeah, he he's a, pro. a pro. He's a pro. He's so he professional. He's going to come back with a hit record and make everybody be yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. Did Frank Ocean yeah. perform, though? No, no. Okay, but who... Okay. They so wanted him to be the. It, it it matters because the thing is, if I made a decision to take my time to I go think it was somewhere, a I think it yeah, was they surprise. wanted him to be the surprise guest. Yeah, because he was a surprise guest said. performer, and they didn't tell uh, who it was going to be. And yeah. it was Drake. Oh, so they, they just they were just, they were so just hoping. hoping. Oh, but wait, so where did they get Frank from to be so mad? That's they were really hoping that hoping. it would be him. the whole hoping. crowd was hoping it was Frank. Yes, the majority of the crowd. That's that's why screaming for it. Somebody must have like leaked it and been like, I think it was like majority right here. Because it was just one little spot is the video you see, but loud enough. For Drake to be like, all right, bye. To be like, Drake right. to be like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, but it had to be a lot of people. Let me tell you this, y'all. First of all, a little bit of tea. So you know, Kylie was there. Okay. Oh, and not his friend. World, right. And you also heard, oh. or oh, you haven't oh, heard, oh. you're about to hear it. There's a rumor that mm-hmm. Drake and Kylie are dating, mm-hmm. which I, I don't believe. Why? It's not. It's not impossible. I just don't believe it. It's not impossible, but it's if you not. see the the the, the billion dollar thing go up though in that that, that union, I don't, think, I don't think they're dating. That's a. I mean, hey, that's gonna be some. That's some power right there. Hey, and Drake wasn't invited to Astro World clearly because he was at Camp Flognaw. <laughs> I hope that's not because I like Drake and Travis Scott records together. If, if Drake is dating. Travis Scott's baby mom. I mean, this is a, this is a nasty game, Rory. Uh, I think media this always make this things a seem what they are not. Anyway, it's true. I think it's okay. So, I, I don't. I don't think they're dating. Okay. One please time don't, for please don't be a little fizz out here. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, one time for Kevin Hart, his return last night, ladies yes. and gentlemen, to the uh, People's Choice Award. He got the People's Choice Award for favorite comedian or something. In that, I bet he did. In that realm, and it was good to see him. It was. It was good to see him. Though, was it not good to see Kevin Hart back? It was. It's always good to see Kevin Hart. Yeah, very bad accident. Hit a very, and it was mm, like him a to very, walk out there without yeah. a cane or anything. anything. He looked great. How long has he been recovering? He's been recovering since the accident. What yeah, three months? Three months. Mm-hmm. That's a long time. Ish. But that's quick though, because he wasn't supposed to return till January, right? He had it, like spinal surgery. Yeah. Is it the People's surgery. Choice Award that he had that whole thing with, or am I confusing it for another award show? What thing? The, the, the whole. Had the, he had to host the Oscar. No. It was the Oscars. Yeah, that was okay. The, okay. Yeah, okay yeah, so that's joint. okay. My bad. People, people's yeah. Choice Award. The beautiful okay. thing about this award show is it's literally by the people, mm-hmm. and he had a very humble speech I yes. commend him on that it was a very humble speech and it was you know I missed him when I saw him I was like damn I miss you in, you're in, social, mm. in the social sphere mm. you know what I'm saying Good okay great Glad you don't care Alicia Keys what? takes to so I don't know so you just was looking at me like what? but I did notice one thing I, did, I will notice I care this. okay <laughs> do, do you, you know that Robert Downey Jr. was the one who brought him out and if you saw Robert Downey Jr. standing behind him, Kevin looked hella shorter than Robert Downey and D- Robert Downey Jr. Short. short. But I think it was the camera angle, or just a hella weird. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Alicia Keys what? takes to social media. <laughs> oh, shit. Talk about her son wanting to paint his nails Rainbow. multiple colors. Ferrari Simmons. Right, tag me in, sir. Come on, there uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> not judging her as a parent. Mm-hmm. However, I would love to have seen what Swiss Beats had to say about this? Really? I would like to see his opinion on it. Now, if my son asked me he wanted to paint his tone to his uh, fingernails, my reply would be no. Mm-hmm. I would say, son, you know. Even if not. he wanted to do it? Uh, if he wanted to do it, I would say no. I would say, you know, it's not nothing that. Uh, 
young boys should be doing at this particular field, Ooh. time. And, you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Yes, yes. Now, I will, I will, I, I will, I think that's a time to be a teachable moment because I think as parents, we should teach your kids and guide them. Now, I, I, I'm just speaking for me. Like, for example, Lorari likes pink, he likes that color. Right. So, I was just telling my, uh, my co workers that he naturally wanted to play with Minnie Mouse over Mickey Mouse because he likes the color pink. Right. But I was just saying, I, I said, well, maybe you should play with Mickey Mouse. And if you want to play with Minnie Mouse, you should play with it with your sister. Right. That's just me guiding him into a area that's comfortable that right. I yeah. think as a parent, we should. I don't think you should say, yeah, you should paint your nails at that particular age. I don't think they, they're so innocent. They just think that's cool because they see somebody cool that they think male or female. You know what I'm saying? It's what right. you teach them. You know what I'm so saying? what about the thought that uh, Alicia Keys has that every person has a male, female well, can I ask a question? to them? Yes. How would you uh, handle that if your sons were that age and asked you that? Were young? Like four, yeah. Um, I, I don't four know. It, it never to happened to me. And I can't really speak on what I would do. I don't know if... <laughs> um, just as in fa from the father's yeah, perspective. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm way more mature. I mean, they're 19 and 15. Mm -hmm. I'm way more mature and accepting of other people's lifestyles now than I probably was then. So to be honest, I don't know how I would I mean, but, now. But then, I don't know. Like, I, I, I probably would have went the route that Rari said. I mean, I was just making a suggestion. No, no, then, absolutely. I would and just speak said, no, to my partner about it. I'm yeah. not going to go on social media by myself. It's going to be a united front, Sue. So. Well, I don't have kids, but... I think, like you said, every experience could really be a teachable moment. I just think that we have to be super cautious because kids are super impressionable and they don't they haven't had enough life experience to take out of that conversation what they want to take out of right. it and dissect it how they want to. They're going to take it for face value for right. how for how they you know perceived it. Yeah. But you know what? We're not in their household, so we don't even know. Yeah, you don't the know what conversation they had. Shit, so. yeah. But I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with a young boy saying that he wants to paint his nails. I don't think that he's like, I, I want to get my nails did. I think he's like, I want to play with color. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, playing with I colors. Mean, I'm got, painting. I'm I finger got. painting. Yes. I'm, I got like, that. Yeah, I don't think that unless your kid is coming to you with a little bit of a twang, then, then you might have some concern. Yeah, but I think as parents, though, that's what you, you in your mind, that's your first right. thought. If you have a son and you and he wants to do anything that is female oriented or considered female oriented, right. my, my my son has never came to me about any of that stuff. Yeah. So I mean, that's kind of hard to say what you would do if you, when you're in a moment. But well, what do you think about what Alicia Keys says? Back to my question about her saying all humans have a female and male trait. I mean, she said pretty. Much I mean, that. yeah, I, uh, I think that's a scientific I occasionally fact. bathe in my wife's uh, sugar scrub. Is it not that a scientific feels good, fact? Motherfucker. I'm in the motherfucking <laughs> bathtub. I think it's washing. important that that's my feminine side, right? <laughs> I like the shit to feel good. Well, I like to give my. I think I think people just like to feel good, though, in general. I think it's okay for people to <laughs> dibble and dabble in certain areas of female and masculine energies. However, I think it's important to um, understand and have the child to understand that you know you're a boy, there's and a there's a certain way you know um, that America or society views the views boys and how they should act 100% you know and then there's girls and this is the way that you know things are happening just to be truthful or just or, have the information to choose for themselves yeah Thank I think you. that's you it you know internally in your home you're going to say it with a, a loving offering it's going to be but a think, loving offering but mm -hmm. I think it's important for them to understand that you know men have certain things that men are specific for men and women have things that are specific for women. Not to say you can't paint your nails or anything, but the masculine energy is different from the fem, and we should just understand both. Because concepts. there is a, there is a difference. There's I mean, a there's a complete women difference, women and makeup. also in your home, like I said, you you give the offering to your child specifically that conversation or all these conversations in a loving way. Mm -hmm. When they leave the house, they don't get loving anything. Right, they get right. tormented and tortured and treated like... And that's why I think it's important to prepare them, which is telling yeah, them the facts. truth. Be honest. You know, we all want to be the parent that we didn't have or I want to talk to my kid how my parents didn't, but we forget that we are really coddling these kids and not giving them the right tools 100%. to defend themselves and that's when they exactly get older. what needs to be given tools yeah. mechanisms to be put in place to deal with 
And what you don't want is for real. Let them lose. Let let them lose a game. Don't always let them win. Like let them learn how it feel to lose when they're young. Like it's it's really like all that. All those little things really make a person. I I was just saying that because I I'm so thankful my my kids don't have to go to the street to Mm -hmm. learn those lessons. They learn them in sports. They get disappointed. They Mm -hmm. get hurt. They get talked about. Yep. But um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Instagram is gonna hide the likes, y'all. You're gonna have to really go. You gotta be really popping out here. You know what I'm saying? You had to be been cool before social media to deal Factory. with this I, I can't wait <laughs> me neither That's right. I wanted to go away for a little bit though I just but, want but all you know me to go at away at first I was really concerned for businesses like Ball Alert like you know Shade all these ones right because they're monetized based on their contribution mm-hmm. and the like size so forth and so on and consumption of, from their audience but the the, the measurements are still there so, so the, the insights get, will still the be there the insights still are still there just, you okay. just have access to them or which would be dope is if Instagram you had to really go to them, but I think that might be what they're setting mm-hmm. us up for. Yeah. What because, do you mean if you had to go? To because them? so many people are monetizing. Oh, they want to monetize. Go to Instagram. So okay. now, mm-hmm. maybe if, if they pay? hide the likes, no, and the company's got to come through Instagram to you. They're gonna charge you a surcharge mm-hmm. or get in on the exactly. But that's scary, though. I mean, how do y'all feel about that? If if they tried to, I feel like it's important us like for us to have fire drills every now and then. You know, keep us alert. Um, yeah, keep yeah, you I'm ready. Cool you know, what I'm saying just in case anything happens you know you got to be able to survive without this how how will you go on yeah i wish you'd be so de- dependent yeah on it i wish often instagram would go away mm-hmm. i wish social media would go away and just so, so people could have to fend for themselves yeah. and go talk to somebody yeah and get at somebody or be forced to live with yourself he- hello you know, on, baby jesus you I- can accomplish so much stuff sometimes online <laughs> And not leave your house. No facts. But like humans are weird. I, I like <laughs> people are so weird. It's like every tool ain't the problem. It's how we're using the tool that's the issue. No, I'm with you. But so I think it's we we are in more. a bad like mental state right now. Like a lot of us, you know, need therapy. We need help. We need family. This is happening. We're being abandoned. There's kids on the streets. Like prostitution, sex. Tra- like it's a lot of trauma going on right now. Yeah. So but it's added I understand to, that. It's added to and I agree. Of, even like, and I want to talk about sex trafficking at the end of the show, but since you brought it up, I'm going to talk about it now. Yeah. If you look at this, the over hyper sexualized world we live in, ninety percent of that is the internet's fault. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's causing issues for our our girls, our women. Like, this shit is unreal. Like, when I was Sky, big shout out to uh, Sess by Sky, she had posted this thing showing actual white vans with padlocks on them and look out for it. And just that day, I'm talking to my, at the basketball games, you know, all the parents are huddled up, and they're talking about how a white van was in their neighborhood. This is before I even saw Sky post it. And they asking kids to get in the van. But my thing is, like, social media... Let them know where you at, mm-hmm. what you wearing, how you thinking, what's your norm. Wait, you know what I'm saying? It's making it more easier. It's making it super easy to assault mm-hmm. people and find people and rob people. And I just, I just get so worked up about it because I just think that it's so, we're so dependent on it. To Octavia's point, it's like you wake up every day and you have to, regardless if mm-hmm. you need it or not, it's mm-hmm. part of your daily function. Right. Now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. This could be a start, though, in changing the way we deal with it, to your point. Because, too, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. It, it works great for us on mm-hmm. promotions and letting them know about our brunches mm-hmm. and our shows and mm-hmm. things of that nature. And that's but the positive part, though. That's the positive. But I, it's a lot of negative. Because we, we use it in that way, right? Like, we all have shit that we happens do, yeah. in our lives. Yeah. But we also know how to talk to people. We yeah. still know how to communicate how we feel and, and open up to someone so they can help us through it. It's the people that don't know how to do that yeah. that are fucked up. But and you, y'all need some real life love. Like, in, in real about life. Nobody, everybody's not that smart, too. Not that, no, for sure, yeah. Back to yeah. The don't have facts. opportunities, I mean, yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? Facts. They, they Their parents probably wasn't, weren't able to give them tools. Like, there yeah. are, there's a lot to go into it. We're not just, like, trying to say it's, you know, one thing. It's, it's multifaceted, but the reality is it's... it's the and outside that are already of some of the superheroes, the amazing artists, the people that are good hearted and thoughtful mm-hmm. in their presentation on social media, the majority of the ones that are popping, popping are not though. They're the ones mm-hmm. who spew all the BS, the fights. Like yeah. if I see one more Popeye's chicken fight. Oh my Jesus. These Popeye's chicken fights, I don't even, and then you think like, you really think about it like, wow. Have you, have you, have you had the chicken sandwich yet? 
I don't want it. They have you? Mm-mm. I don't have want you? it. I don't need now, you. if they were to put something in these chicken sandwiches and we all were supposed to die in like 20 days, it's gonna happen. all y'all would die. I bon haven't had one yet. I have not had I won't. I don't eat one. One of the comments was like, "We all, some of y'all going to turn into Ninja Turtles <laughs> yeah. in like eight years. <laughs> no, for real. They showed a meme. They had to do shit. Yeah, and look, I have and, look, and at the end of it, Donald Trump going to be like, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, but, but this is what I'm telling y'all. Right, Why? Right? That don't happen at Chick-fil-A. That man done fed. That don't happen at McDonald's. That man done fed folks McDonald's. Even McDonald's. That man feed people Popeyes now <laughs> it's hey, no, I, I believe in conspiracy <laughs> theories man cause this racial thing is on another level it's a Trump. chicken sandwich bro it's Trump. I'm just trying to figure out what first of all ain't nobody ever gave a damn about Popeyes that, that damn hard ever so this chicken, yeah, so this damn ever. chicken sandwich came out now it's like y'all heard me on the, y'all heard me on the last episode I'm done with it bro like that shit right there is just embarrassing my nigga that shit is super embarrassing employees Speaking over there of, selling um, sandwiches on the side like racial oh, chicken man. stories y'all oh, um, not chicken stories but it's, it's, it's uh, everything's so racial right now Tr- you, heard, you saw what happened to Trina yes yeah, in, in the, the Walmart, Walmart right? that white lady caught the right one yeah she caught the right one and then kid Capri wore his hood yeah. was profiled in the store he no, was I'm that. Yeah, when yeah. I wear my hood, I always get profiled, and, and when I take it off, it just be so, it's so crazy, bro. What I happened? tell my sons all the time. They like you know they in the dorms now, like walking, doing mm-hmm. whatever, and they going outside with it tied up. And I'm like, my nigga, untie your hoodie and take it off. You just, you just don't on, want them put problems. Put on a little Scully hat, man. It's better. Yeah, or a cap. Like don't go out here with hoods <laughs> and tied though. Giving people a because reason. and and for people who don't know. Because when people are about to do something illegal, they put the hood on. That's you low key got to tag from. your damn hoodie, like which is so fucking sad. Right, like, like I'm like, not a fucking criminal. Right, like you look like like with the little reflector stuff. Like you it's literally low key always, have to tag yourself. It's usually always like a gray one or a black one. Usually like the highlighted color ones. Those are different. They're yeah. afraid of the black. But the thing is, if if I want to wear black, I can wear fucking black. Correct. I, like I, I can I, wear I black. Agree. I understand that I cannot right. control race racist yes, people. I understand yeah. that. But what I can do is put a fucking tag on my ha- on my hoodie, so like, you know. Cool. Yeah, you know. I'm, I, I'm going to the store. It's okay. I'm just getting some skittles, bitch. Uh, I got a PSA announcement for them little kids at these malls. Mm-hmm. These little kids begging at these malls and, and lying. Listen, I'm, I'm this. I got a pro. Eighty dollars. I got. I got took it out of eighty dollars only for the police officer to. Uh, my let, me, let me tell you what happened to me. Ahead. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm in the mall. And I'm a very generous person. If I feel the connection, I'm going yeah. to share. Right. You know what I'm saying? So this little kid came up to me, and he was he had no game. He had no sincerity, no humble energy, nothing. He came up to me and was like, yo, I know you got it. Oh. This is what he said. I oh, know wow. you got it. Can you help us out? This is for my AAU team. I said, let me, ask, let me tell you something, Playboy. What? It's presentation. And one, if you play basketball, you be in the gym right now. It's Saturday during the day, and you here not looking like a basketball player. And I, I had to have a whole conversation. He said, well, come on, OG, I know you got it, man. You can PayPal, Cash App, Zelle. What? And I'm looking at him like, yo, like, this is crazy. And then another instance, I'm charging my car. I seen this dude harass this lady. Mm-hmm. I had to get out the car and say something. Because mm-hmm. it was to the point like, yo, back up off her, nigga. Like, and I, I, I didn't mean to snap. But it was like I was in fear for the lady. But he was up that. on her like this, like excuse me, excuse, and I'm like, my, come on, like, bro. Back up. Yeah. And and I, and I want to say this, little black and brown babies out here, you feel you need to hustle. There are ways to hustle, mm-hmm. the right way. Right. Selling water is a good thing. I did it. Selling selling uh, candy to, to to raise fun for the boys and girls. I did it. Taking it's all fair trash. game. But y'all gotta be a little it, bit more on. thoughtful in your presentation. Cause y'all look, it's and a matter of fact, it's twenty five of them when it used to be two. Mm-hmm. You can't get no money and numbers from people like that. Mm-hmm. You can't. Right. Nah, I'm, I'm with you on so that. I just, I just want y'all to man, please think about your presentation. There's nothing wrong with the hustle. It's the way that you presenting yourselves. And parents, please but encourage it. Like stop telling your kids. Like, hey y'all, yeah, I saw like that encourage too. This is how you the gotta guy, The little boy that was walking up on the, a little white lady, he went to a, a grown man to report in almost. And I really wanted to get all the way involved. And I, and I want to get to this before we go on to uh, Ball and Mail, y'all. Hmm. Our women, we have to protect our women. Facts, nah, facts. We have to protect our women. And the way that we even stemming from these youngers and how they, way they was approaching, they know that women are a little more 
thoughtful and, and going to give a dollar, going to w- do whatever just to get up off me. But we, we got to be more thoughtful for our women, man. I mean, one time for the police who got the uh, suspects in that Clark Atlanta University student, Alexis Crawford, they got oh, them in jail. My. But that's heartbreaking. Love and blessings to her and her family. That's man. heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? You, see, you even see the little boy and girl, they don't look like They're killers. babies. They're babies themselves. They don't look like killers. Like, it blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? And then to hear the reasoning why. Like, we have to be more thoughtful about our women. And you got to step in. If you see something, you got to jump in. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You got to make noise. You got to run your car, blow on the horn. You mm-hmm. have to do something. Mm-hmm. We are, People are seeing these things happen. Walking don't a right motherfucker just get snatched and put in something. Ain't nobody see nothing. If you look in the other way, you part of the problem. Mm-hmm. And I feel bad, man, because... You know, having goddaughters, having these, having y'all, mm-hmm. like having mentees and having women that are in my life and seeing what's going on, especially in Atlanta, this shit is disturbing. It's yeah. scary. Even just walking my dog, like like now, it's a matter of my neighbors and I are doing it together. You, like you have at, to, yeah. At at night, it ain't just me. And I'm you with can't my neighbors. Be, and I, I don't want to say I ain't never to, been friends with neighbors before. Yeah, I want to say this <laughs> to all women. You can't be scared to live your life, but you have to be thoughtful. You got to lift your head up when you're on that motherfucking phone. Yeah. Y'all be sitting in places for like 30 minutes. Y'all are targets. You cannot be on your phone and you're in public like that. You got to be thoughtful and aware of your surroundings, ladies and men. They kidnapping little boys. Mm-hmm. They're kidnapping. And I saw the movie Traffic with Omar Epps, uh, Robin Thicke's baby mama. Um, I don't think Laz Alonzo that. I didn't even mean to watch it It was just like You get home You're tired You cut on mm-hmm. it Like oh wait And it was sex traffic And they drugging them Like yeah. they, they gave you The blueprint on the movie mm-hmm. And I, I just want y'all Y'all be out here ladies In these fellas sections And y'all be Getting drinks Past to y'all Hitting weeds You don't know what's in it Y'all gotta mm-hmm. be more Thoughtful for yourself mm-hmm. these, these youngers out here Not playing fair Ruthless so they lay, be they lay, careful. They lace in the weed Ruthless. and put shit in your drink. Be careful, man. Facts. And stop smoking hookah too. By the way, I am. I, I am. Y'all better stop smoking hookah. I'm sorry. I'm off of the sex track on hookah. Y'all have to stop smoking hookah. Do y'all see how many cases of throat whatever's going on? <laughs> Just Google it. Y'all got to be careful. That shit is not good for you. I know. People that I love. And now it's time for baller man. <laughs> Here you go. You missed Hit it. Me. This one is short, <laughs> but crazy. Come on. Oh, Lord. Dear Kenny Sue Rari, Mm-mm. I've been with my fiance for six years and I love him. And I do, and I also believe he loves me. I have no problem with confidence, but I, I do notice he stares at white women. Not sure why. I never saw them in a bracket to compare, but he does. He denies it and says he would never settle down with one. But if you stare, why not go to the other side and leave me the hell alone? Uh-oh. I don't mix or believe in the mix. Oh. What should I do? All right. Well, let me just say, I don't think there's anything <laughs> wrong with the mix. I think a little swirl is, is okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. However, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with a little swirl. But I also will say, um, I think a lot of black men like white women because it's like the forbidden fruit it's like oh my god it's a taboo and I don't think just because he's looking at them means that he wants to be with them like maybe he just finds them attractive or he's curious or like I've never had sex with them so I don't know if you should take it as like well I never thought they was in competition but now they are clearly because he's looking I don't think it's that I just think it's just more so of like an attraction of something that you've never felt that you could have or you don't ever think that you will have Right. so I mean if you don't believe in the swirl it's okay because you're not y'all not finna have a threesome exactly. with the white girls so. I, I agree with you and I, I think you should try everything before you settle down if, you, yes. if there is some curiosity and you think that another you know race whatever I mean we clearly see the popularity with Armenian and all yeah. the other races African whatever I think you should try it and I don't think you should really settle down until you do because that thought will always be in the back of your mind and one day you're drunk mm-hmm. and next thing you know you got a baby but wait. I mean she's so well, turned off by it probably because her mama was one. telling her brother don't don't bring no white girls to my house so she's like uh. my mama half white and said that my granddaddy oh, white my, no. my half white mama said if I ever brought a white girl home, it's on. I'm like, Ma, look in the mirror. That's how Green look. eyes Cause, and skin cause, of but did y'all forget the first she part? Know. What? Put the camera on my face. Oh, oh, why the hell you been engaged for six years, motherfucker? 
<laughs> what the hell? Wait, did she say talking, engaged for six that. years? They've been engaged for Rory. six years. Oh, I thought they were together for Rory. six years. They've been engaged for six years. What the hell is y'all waiting on? I what think a conversation. Oh, he, he waiting for the white lady. That's, that's a that's whole the first other problem. conversation. That's the first. Y'all just go ahead and break up. It yeah. ain't gonna work. I think they sure. need to talk about it first. Men yeah. don't be en- men who are engaged for more than two years. Yeah, ladies. There's something going on. You they not. They not trying to get married. Yeah. Well, I yeah, want. I, mean, I, 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 I In a relationship, you engaged. To it. It's two different things. Engaged. If you're in a relationship for a couple, I, I ain't talking about the relationship. Okay, I'm talking about engaged. engaged. Okay, all right. Is, that, is that what they for, said though? She said engaged for six years. Well, let's act like that. Let what me reread. Okay. okay. I've uh-huh. been with my fiance for six yeah, years. There it is. I've been with my fiance for six years. Oh, okay. Well, nah, now we've been engaged for six years. Well, hey, I need to clarify that in the DM, okay? Because I'm over here thinking that y'all been engaged for six years. No, I get it though. Six years is a long time. I mean, come on. For sure. If, if that was the case, yeah. So if they just been dating for six years, but then now they're engaged to be married, I can see y'all still gonna have a conversation, shit. Yeah, talk about it. If y'all can't come to an agreement, y'all know what y'all need to do. Yeah, girl. Bet. Let let him. You know that he probably like that little, 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 little white girl. Go he, ahead and let him go. She know for sure. It ain't no we'll problem. See what that pink do. Okay, oh. ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for common creeping. Oh. Everybody knows Sweetie, West Coast artist who is Sweetie. now with Quavo. Uh, Quavo. She uh, posted a really cute video hey. of her, like the Sailor Moon inspired look, and she said, Moody, rich bitch, okay? And our born underscore Ambus replied and said, Your five minute set in LA was whack as fuck. Uh-oh. We waited three hours to see you play your one beat song for five minutes. Do better. And she responds, Coming for me isn't love or support. I go hard for each appearance and do what I'm obligated to do. I love my fans and appreciate each dollar spent, so don't try me. Look, y'all are really coming for these celebrities and how they decide to spend their personal time, and they're just not here for it anymore. Like, they are actually wrong, snapping though. back. Like, Summer Walker snapped on somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she didn't snap. She really no, just she explained. Saying, like, the, it transfer, the transferring of energy. Yes. Weird. That's what she was saying. And that's what Sweetie's, like, this whole little Sweetie comment thing really reminds reminded me of the Summer Walker thing because it's like you guys are holding these celebrities right. as like a statue that you would never hold yourself to like they are still humans they, they can the be tired the they can States be depressed Club. they can have a bad day they fucking bad, feet bad can day. hurt like come on yes Relax. Enjoy the show. I mean, you you never gonna be what did you say? So. I said they're right. not the president, but then again, our president. Right, our president's is trash, so. Yeah. He's not, they're not Obama. You yeah. can be more. Yeah, you hold them to such a high standard, my yeah. nigga. They hold are yourself people. to a high standard. They are Leave people. It alone. Celebrities are people. Like, come on, y'all, relax. We're all entitled to having a bad day, and it's 100%. okay. It's but that's right. why, that's why some celebrities don't even be on IG. Like, for example, Michael Jordan. Right. Uh, Jay-Z. You can say one thing and it turns into something totally different. Like, Like people just run with it. Again, again, the problem with social media. Problem with the bad thing about social media. With fucked up people using social media, yeah. Share share that Summer Walker post. I do want to share the Summer Walker post, okay? Um, I just want to say to all of my fans who purchased meet and greets, I really appreciate y'all taking the time to meet me and share your stories. I tell everyone individually, thank you. I spread love, we laugh, and I give genuine compliments. Now, for those who are upset because I don't give hugs, I don't know what to tell you. I'm an empath, okay? And that transference of energy from that many people each day would literally kill me. Mm -hmm. Y'all may not understand what I'm talking about, but for example, there's a lot of people out here faking the funk with a smile on their face, like they got it together, but inside you're actually suffering from some sort of traumatic experience, a loss, depressed, fearful, envious, or whatever the case may be, but I can feel it. So I ask you, please respect my space in these moments. Y'all, Solid. relax. You got to applaud for that, though. Real talk. Because she is, I love that she is together enough to say that, yo. You don't have to hug people. I know people that don't even shake hands. Like, they don't like to. And it's not because they're being disrespectful. They don't know you. They don't like to shake hands because of whatever you. the fuck. You, your, your dirty ass might not smell. wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Yeah, like, I don't fucking know. Some of y'all are crazy for real. For real, though. And all, all you people that are like jealous and envious, like you you carry that on you. And I don't think you know that. So when you give fake love, like people can really feel that. I can feel 100%. that hug was fake. I can feel that support is fake as fuck because you ain't do nothing but come up here and eat and drink all my shit. Like, girl. Right. Hello? Oh, just Let's carry that back. energy into Confucius Says. And Let's now it's time for Confucius Says. 
Uh, Sue Solo, I agree wholeheartedly with you. And Summer Walker, big shout out to you. Yes. You see, Baller Nation, to get in tune with yourself is what you need to do. See, the young lady said the transferring of energy is real. You know when somebody don't like you. Mm. You know when they there to be there for the moment, to get something from you, to take from you. The key to this whole thing is to get rid of the motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Get them people out your life. So go forward, Ball Nation, and understand that the transferring of energy is real. God bless you. Touch yourself. Touch yourself. Get in tune with yourself. Get in tune with yourself. Bitch, what's happening? <laughs> Don't with get yourself. Get in tune with yourself. This is a lot going on. Baller alert! The dream is real.